Okay, so that's what we do there along with the clap. Another footwork that we work on is called shuffle and brace, all right? And I think Aaron talked about it briefly. And, and what this involves, and what this involves, fellas, is moving laterally and closing the space and the distance that you have to work in. Closing space and distance. How can I move more efficiently, okay, to cover those gray areas within the blocking scheme? How do I do that? I shuffle, I shuffle again, I may have to brace step, okay, on my third step, and then get on the angle. It could be two steps, it could be four steps, at some point it could be more than that, based on what you're seeing, if you can extend a defender wider with your movement. But this is evolving into what we call a square drag now. What we did last year, and you'll see on the tape, we're moving laterally, and we're a little bit more on our toes as an uncovered blocker. When we use these techniques, they were basically used for the uncovered blocker to get him square and get him moving more efficiently to close distance and space. So that's what we did there. Now we've taken basically that same premise and the same concept, and now they're gonna move laterally into an area that we call square dragging. And I'll get to that in just a second. But what I wanna just show you here is just this clip of how we're just trying to move a little bit more laterally closing distance in the space to the right side of these linemen, staying square, trying to move a little bit quicker and faster. Especially, like Paul talked about, you have these, you have these players that are so big and so tight, sometimes within the hip flexors, that they can't really take a step and get, and take, and get a cutoff angle on a particular defender. Or if you're on the play side, it's hard if you open your shoulders and you're trying to pierce or get into the second level, okay, a little bit too fast. So we try to not get into that second level as fast. We're trying to slow them down, square them up, so that there's, if there's any movement coming from outside in, we can pick it up. So that was a key factor for us as we were uh, moving into some new areas of movement and footwork. So this one was just nothing more than shuffle, shuffle, and then they brace up on that third step, okay, and they foot fire the feet just getting them to feel okay, that as they work to the second level, they're under control, their feet are firing, their feet are underneath them, and they're in a balanced, kind of a centered uh, demeanor as they're going to the second level. There'll be a time where your linemen are sliding, okay, or shuffling, and as they make that decision to go north or to go on an angle, they're gonna have to get into that brace step. So again, what you're seeing is a shuffle, you're seeing a brace, you're seeing a lineman drop his center of gravity and firing his feet. So there's a lot of things going on right here within that block. 